it's driving, I'm not gonna lie, it's driving me crazy. I mean, it's nice that it's 12 volt, but this thing is huge. Let's put a 4 amp hour battery on. <laughs> it's still smaller. All right, so this goes to uh, 12, 12 and 3 quarter inches. Milwaukee, one more time. 12 and 7 eighths inches. All right, so th the cobalt is actually smaller with a 4 amp hour battery than the Milwaukee M12 is. That's, that's insane. This thing is huge. All right, so I am done being bartered about the size. Who cares? All right, so we'll move on. So already today what we are going to do is we are actually going to check out the brand new M12 fuel oscillating tool. Now this thing was awesome. I had to get it as soon as I saw it. It was on, uh, there's a deal going on right now where you get a free battery with it. So, and it was, since I got the tool, I might as well have got the new blades. And so it was, it's awesome. So like it's got to take advantage of the Black Friday sales that are happening right now. And so let's unbox this, take a look at the specs, check out the attachments that are in this deal. This, uh, this is separate. This did not come in, like in a kit or anything. And so we'll check out these and then we'll actually test this out and see what this could actually do. We will be cutting nails, wood, and copper. Since, uh, and we might as well do PVC, but that's uh, PVC and drywall and paint. That's, that's like, you could do that with, uh, uh, with less of a tool. And so like, we're just, we're just gonna do wood, nails, and copper in this video. This is the $130 bet value 20 piece uh, multi-tool blade set. All right, so this comes with five wood cut cutting blades. It comes with two titanium blades. One is metal and one is multi-material, which wooden nails. Then it comes with a uh, fast material remover uh, sander. And it comes with a free little pouch, which that's good. I will be using that for these because I have random stuff you know, in these little drawers that are right here. So I, I'm going to use that pouch for these bits. And so, yeah, all right, the battery, let's open this up really. Do I have a pair of scissors out here? No, I do not. So that doesn't matter anyways. All right, so for the tool, now this thing is awesome. This is model number 2526-20, uh, uh, brushless fuel oscillating tool, tool only. Battery not included, but with the sale, a battery is free, so let's hit that up. So let's open this up and take a look inside. My Ryobi knife is in my backpack. This is not tool only. This does come with some attachments right here. So tool only is just means no charge or battery, but attachments do come in here already. So you do not need to get this or uh, a set right out of the bat. All right, so when it comes to its own attachments, it does come with the sander that is metal. And it comes with, comes with four sanding, uh, four sandpaper. Does it come with anything else? Comes with one head. What is this? This is wood. Comes with a one wood head. Of course, warranty catalog. Chance to win. I like that uh, shirt. Look at this. This is this is nice. That's bigger than I what I thought it would be. That's like the regular. That's like it's the size of a regular oscillating tool. All right, so here is Cobalt's uh, 24 volt oscillating tool. It's pretty much, it's pretty much the exact same size. That's that's crazy. Look at that. That seriously is a, almost the same size. All right, so I am done being bartered about the size. Who cares? All right, so we'll move on. All right, but to easily put a blade on, all you got to do is. Flip the switch on the top. Undo that. Now you could adjust this to what you, you want. You could have it just at the threshold of where you could be able to just slide this out. Now this is magnetic. 
it's magnetic, but is it enough magnetic? There you go. It is magnetic. So that's a good thing. All right, but let's put the blade on. Of course, you can put it in any direction you want. But we'll have it on straight. So I have that up. So now it'll lock it in place. And this thing is, for its size, it is pretty beefy for a 12 volt. Anyways, is there a way to tell what the battery life is? Yep, right when you turn on, the battery does indicate the light. So full battery, we're gonna go on speed uh, speed 12. Let's see what this could actually do against uh, what these are actually for. Alrighty, so the first thing we are gonna test is wood with nails, and I actually have a nail right there and right there. But let's put this on the other side, because I think that is, yep. All right, this line right here, is where the nail stops. So let's see what this can do. Alrighty, so we have the titanium wood with nails. Let's put this on, lock it in place, do a test. Yep. We are good to go. All right, so actually, I'm gonna have this at an angle. Close that back up. Perfect, let's see what this can do. All right, so ready? Go. Right now, let's actually, I'll just rotate it. That seems to be easier. All right, so let's continue. Time. It did it. It did it. And as you can see, both of them had nails. Perfect. should be fine. I mean, I did cut it pretty fast. All right, so let's continue. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. That blade is awesome. And that's just a nail with uh, titanium multi-material. I want this straight like that. All right, so, ready, go. Not too shabby. The description says copper piping, but let's see if these blades and this oscillating tool are able to do black steel. But before we do that, let's actually cut some copper. I went out and got some copper, so let's cut this. This is three quarter inch type M, I believe. Yeah, three quarter inch type M. All right, so let's see what this could do. Now, like, the battery is at two bars. 
So let's see what this can do. All right, so ready? Go. Oh. Yeah, I, oh, I'm using the metal titanium, uh, I'm using the metal titanium blade. Oh, that's interesting, actually. Maybe there's too much play in it. Let's bring it back some. Might need to be a little bit more sturdy. Let's continue. Now, as you guys can imagine, the size of the pipe, I didn't want to get half inch, I wanted to get three quarter inch to, just to add the ex extra stress. The teeth on there are still pretty decent. I lost one, nope, every single tooth is still there. Let's do one more cut. Let's try it on uh, speed six. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. PVC pipe, guys, it's that's easy. I'm not gonna test out PVC. That's that's easy. This is more of my style of a test. Black steel pipe. Let's see if it can do it. Will I destroy the blade? Probably. The battery's at three bars. Let's see what this can do. Yep, I pretty much killed the pretty much killed the blade. There are pretty much no teeth left. But who cares? Let's continue. Hundred and five in most spots. Hundred and five. And the battery life on this is two bars. So that's really not bad for a 12 volt tool with a four amp hour battery to go through that much torture and still have half the battery life. Because that the amount of work that I put into this would have done a ton of wood stuff. But it, it did a good job. It did a good job. Now there's all like I said, there's only only a half an inch, about an about an inch three quarters of an inch left from here to there. So yeah, it did a, it, it did a decent job. It actually did a decent job, especially that, that, that blade serve the, that this blade cut that much of black steel. That's not bad. That's what we do on this channel. I don't do what is recommended. I put the tool through an extreme test in this case, black steel. So already I got all of my bits in this little pouch that, the uh, that the bit kit came with, or attachments, if you will. The remaining battery life is two bars. And so, yeah, the only thing that shocks me is the size. Like, this this thing is huge. It's to a point to where it's like, you might as well just have the the 18 volt one. Because you will lose a lot of duration if you use a 12 volt versus an 18 volt. And it's, it's, it's huge, it's huge. So, so the bits and the tool do what it says it does. These bits are actually pretty good, they're still uh, still had teeth left on that one and so yeah so this thing uh, I do need to do some home repairs uh, I need to continue on the home repairs and I will be using this one for now on that's pretty much it if you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is Dave Nicholas thank you for tuning in I'll see you guys next time